Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. Thanks for joining me. Today is another fountain pen giveaway. And the giveaway pen is the result of a couple of presents I got from my kids for Christmas. No, I didn't get pens. They gifted me bottles of Ferris Wheel Press ink. You see, they were smart. They take after their dad after all. They went down to my favorite brick and mortar shop, Reed's Stationers in downtown Calgary, and spoke to the wonderful and extremely knowledgeable Carrie Carvey about what ink they should buy for me. She recommended Ferris Wheel Press, and they got me this bottle of Jelly Bean Blue, and this bottle of a new Ferris Wheel Press ink Carrie recommended called Stroke of Midnight. I had a couple of samples of Ferris Wheel Press ink before, but because of these cool colors and cool bottles, I did some research on the company. They are Canadian and based in a suburb of Toronto called Markham. I looked at their website and was intrigued that they were now offering a couple of models of fountain pens. One of them is a new release and it's called the Carousel. I was doubly intrigued because my wife started her career as a professional stage actor at a theater company based in my hometown of St. Catharines, Ontario called Carousel Players. The antique but still operational carousel at Lakeside Park in North St. Catharines on the shores of Lake Ontario is a place of fond memories our family share and the namesake of the theatre company Wynn performed with and wrote plays for at the start of her career. And it's still only a nickel to ride. So I had to get one of these pens for her desk. Then I thought, hey, a video review of this new pen in the color After Hours a deep blue matching the stroke of midnight ink would be really awesome. So why not write to them and ask them for a pen to review? They responded very quickly and not only offered one carousel pen for review, they offered me two, one to review and one to give away to one of you. So let's take a look at this very cool pen and ink combination from a Canadian company and find out how you can win this very pen right now. <music> only about five days since I talked to Ferris Wheel Press about the carousel and the box is here. Let's open it up. And, we have two pens right up. and here they are. This is the Ferris Wheel Press carousel and they provided me with two. One to review and one to give away. So now let's open the box. Let's look at the box first. Capturing your most magical memory of the Midway, the carousel comes equipped with a converter that's ready to be filled with your favorite fountain pen ink. Bring your brightest ideas to life with the spirit of the carnival. And there's the carousel showing through the box. Designed and assembled in Toronto, Canada. Ferris Wheel Press, Toronto. Made in Taiwan. Thank you for letting us know about that. And it is a fountain pen with custom ground nib refillable converter. And here is the pen. It is a snap cap so that top is spinning around. Injection molded plastic. Snaps on. And there's our nib. And that carousel horse is upside down. So you look at it this way. There's the carousel horse. Let's take a closer look at that. Plastic feed. It clicks to post as well. Very nice, very light. I'm going to be inking this pen up with Ferris Wheel Press Stroke of Midnight. And we're gonna give one of these away to a lucky viewer. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. Let's talk about Ferris Wheel Press to start. There was a wonderful article about the company recently in the Toronto Star. I'll link it in the description for you to read. The completely Canadian company is the brainchild of Deborah Lau Yu and her husband Ray Yu. On the company website, this is what they say about themselves. Fall in love with writing again. Ferris Wheel Press is a design and stationery company based in Markham, Ontario, Canada. 
We've been making fine stationary products for over 10 years, constantly seeking innovation and refinement. To quote Deborah Lau Yu from the Star article, quote, When it comes to our Canadian heritage and diverse social fabric, she says, Our team invests hundreds of research and design hours into producing authentic and distinctive package designs that incorporate pieces of Canadiana, a nod to Main Street Unionville's historic buildings, the beauty of Moraine Lake in Alberta, the musky wilderness, and beautiful views on a kayak in Muskoka. We incorporate stories and fun details. And in these digital extra times, when everyone was rushing to be like everyone else, to fit into a mediocre social media footprint based on computer-generated numbers and algorithms, handwriting, she says, is even more special and important. Ms. Lau Yu is also the founder of the annual Lunar New Year Festival, Fate Xinhua, and also publishes a self-named magazine that celebrates modern Chinese culture. Overall, the carousel fountain pen is very light and made of soft injection molded plastic. It comes in six colors. This deep blue called After Midnight, Tatler's Teal, Lady Rose, a pale blue called Forget Me Not, a creamy white called French Vanilla, and a muted green called Seaside Glass. The pen colors are reflected in their packaging. I find the naming of the colors very evocative, especially the forget-me-not pale blue, as it evokes one of Wynn and my favorite places in Alberta, Forget-me-not Pond in Kananaskis. Here's one of my photos of the beautiful location. The pens sell for $33 Canadian. But let's take a moment to take a look at the Ferris Wheel Press 38 milliliter ink bottles. They do have these bottles in much rounder 50 milliliter sizes as well. But these 38 milliliter bottles, even though they're very attractive, are very tippy. The bottom is rounded and has a small oval divot in it, so there isn't much surface contact with your desk. And the neck isn't very large either. At just 13 millimeters in diameter, that neck won't accommodate my Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, for example. So I've designed an ink buddy to stabilize this bottle so you can fill your pen with both hands and not worry about the bottle tipping over. It sits in the little stand just like that. And I've even put a little pin in the bottom of it there that matches up with that divot to stabilize the pen even more. My son 3D prints these and sells them at his Etsy store called Allied Armorers. I'll put the link in the description. Now to the carousel pen. From the top we see a domed finial which is distinctly Chinese in its Chinese dome architecture shape. The dome has an injection molding gate in the middle. The rest of the cap is dodecagonal as it has 12 sides. Ferris wheel press and the carousel are stamped into the cap and filled with silver paint on opposite sides. Then the cap slopes down to the end and there's about a millimeter step down to the cylindrical barrel which is straight all the way until we get to the end finial which is an 18 sided lobed shape with ferris wheel press and a center hexagon molded into it. There's another injection molding gate in the center of the hexagon. We'll see hexagons again on this pen. The injection molding gates are remnants of the injection molding of the plastic. It's part of the manufacturing process, but they've taken pains to incorporate the gates into their design here. With the top gate in a circle and the bottom gate in a hexagon, they're using their polygon motifs as part of the design. The cap is a dodecagon, the barrel is a cylinder, and when you pop the cap off, the section is a hexagon. I think this is a very clever design. They've also taken pains to hide the other remnant of injection molding of the plastic, and that's the seams. I've looked all over the pen with my loop for seams, and they've hidden them in the apexes of all their shapes. You have to look very closely, right there, and right there you can see the seam that integrates with one of the apexes of that dodecagon and the barrels seams are polished away there is no clip but the dodecagon cap acts as a roll stop when the pen is capped and posted and the cap posts on the barrel with a really nice fit 
because that multi-lobed end finial shape fits precisely into the cap liner inside the cap. There's a lot of thought behind the design and engineering of this seemingly ordinary plastic pen. First, the snap cap. It's solid. I recommend pressing up with thumb and forefinger while gripping the pen rather than pulling the two apart like that. This is much easier. In fact, it becomes a bit of a fidget spinner. The cap spins a little bit and easily caps and uncaps. That little ring molded onto the end of the section is what grips the cap liner in the cap. You get a solid click and a positive seal. Let's look at that section. Again, deceptively simple. It's hexagonal in shape, just like your standard HB pencil. So the grip is very familiar. And it is long. For a small pen, that's a long section. It's 27 millimeters in length. Let's compare it right now with a pen I'm sure everyone will compare this pen to, the Caveco Sport. The Sport section is a very tiny 14 millimeters, so the carousel is almost twice as long, and it's very, very comfortable. I'm not fond of thin sections, and this one is on the border of what I'd call thin, but I've written pages and pages with this pen, and it's very comfortable. I'll talk about it more in my likes and dislikes. And we see the number five size steel nib and black plastic feed. Let's look closer at this nib. The first thing that's interesting is the nib's markings are upside down from normal. The nib looks stamped rather than engraved. There's a carousel horse which will make my wife very happy. What is the deal with girls and horses? And there's an M for medium right there in the center, bracketed by borders of dots and hash marks. And right where there would normally be a breather hole, there's another hexagon right there. And finally, on the tines, there's a V and a VI, Roman numerals for five and six. And that's a nod to the telephone area codes of the greater Toronto area. 905 and 416. I'm just old enough to remember when all of Southern Ontario was area code 416. My phone number when I was in grade school in St. Catharines was 416. Well, Allison, I need the phone. Get off, will you? So hung up on you. Yeah, good idea. I'll see you in church. Daddy! Someday I'll be out of your life. Yeah, right now get out of the bathroom, all right? But I digress. The nib and the feet are not part of an unscrewable nib assembly, but they are friction fit and they come out easily for maintenance or swapping. The section unscrews to reveal an included high quality standard international converter. The metal ring of the converter can be unscrewed so you can disassemble it, clean it, grease the piston and put it back together again. Some $400 fountain pens come without a converter at all. The pen will take standard international cartridges and accommodate one in the trunk as well. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. Very convenient. Posted, the pen is nicely balanced and very comfortable in the hand. Again, this is a very light pen at 17 grams in total. Unposted, the pen is plenty long enough to write with. And now let's look at some size comparisons. And here we are with the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel with a Caveco Sport, a Pilot E95S, a Lamy Safari, and a Pilot Metropolitan. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see that the carousel is just as long as my E95S Pilot when posted. Now we'll look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the ferris wheel press K 
carousel he said sounding it out and it has a medium steel nib let's check the wetness it's decently wet for what I consider a very fine line and the nib is really smooth right out of the box very very smooth and the ink today is ferris wheel press stroke of midnight which i think is a nice matchy matchy with this pen again the name of the pen is after hours blue it's like the ink and the pen were made for each other somehow i don't know how hello johnny hello jane and this is a new ink so there are no close matches to this ink on inkswatch.com but it's a very nice a slate blue black the other blue blacks that I have are Iroshizuku Shinkai and Waterman's Mysterious Blue. As to line variation, well, there's not much to be had. It's a very stiff nib. This nib is marked as a medium, but the line it is creating is 0 0.3 millimeters, which is a Western extra, extra fine or a Japanese extra fine to fine. So it is marked on the packaging that it is designed and assembled in Toronto, uh, but it's made in Taiwan. Uh, so it's not surprising that the nib marked medium is more in the fine range as the source is Asian. I expect the fine nib in this pen would be very fine indeed. And for our quote, And for reverse writing, well, reverse writing is almost smoother than the right way around, yeah, but it's very dry and much, much thinner. And some quick writing. no issues whatsoever in fact this is one of the features of this pen that i'll talk about in a moment so what do i like and what do i not like about this fountain pen i'm not a big fan of thin light plastic pens so my delight with this pen has really taken me by surprise there are two things that really impressed me about this fountain pen one that there's a lot of thought and care that has gone into its design marketing and packaging and two, the writing experience. Everything about this pen shows that the design was very carefully conceived. From the long hexagonal section, the excellent posting, the inclusion of a top quality converter, to the careful hiding of the seams and incorporation of the gates into the design shapes of the pen, speak to me of some careful thought and planning. The packaging is excellent as with everything from Ferris Wheel Press. Ms. Lao Yu is clearly putting her design experience to work on all aspects of the company's packaging and marketing. But even though I was impressed with all of those elements, I fully expected to write with this pen and then pass it off to my wife, Wynn, because I don't like small, light pens. But the more I wrote with this pen, the more impressed I became. It's not only smooth, but it's, it's hard to describe. It's fast. It's just smooth and wet and light. You can just write like it's a sports car. Well, cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> Send them.
watch the coffee there isn't a hint of scratching or skipping it just writes and writes and writes the only thing i would say is room for improvement would be the thickness of the line this is nowhere near being a medium thickness for a westerner anyway uh, that 0 0.3 is more in the range of a fine or an extra fine if you like thin lines you'll really adore this pen however i appreciate a line that's at least uh, 0.5 to 0.6 millimeters uh, in thickness uh, and that's in the range of a medium so if the pen came with a broad nib option that would write a 0.6 millimeter line or a medium that'd be great for the rest of us and there you have it thanks go out to ferris wheel press for providing this pen to me for review and for when to keep and also for this pen to give away to one of you to win this pen not wins pen but this pen just be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below before 8 a.m monday february 7th to be entered into the draw i will then randomly select one comment and post the winner in a pinned comment on this video and as a post on my community channel if you're the winner i will also reply to your comment letting you know that you've won you have 48 hours from the notice of winning to email me at inkquiringminds at gmail.com with your name and address so I may send you your prize. If I don't get an answer, I will select again until a winner is found. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel too for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I will answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis and badges too. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.